Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Revealed. Today is turnover day on this kitchen project here behind me and we had just had the cleaners come through and let's walk you through a final reveal on this project. But before we do that, take a look at this rendering and at this final photo. We nailed it here. Let me know what you guys think. The team really came together, both the shop team, the field team, and all of our subcontractors to really knock this one out of the park uh, for this homeowner. So let's step into the kitchen and take a look at some of these final details and final shots. So as we walk in here, the first thing that you're gonna notice is this giant space. Like many of you, we are experiencing appliance delays. Everything had come in on time except for the speed oven, which is actually still gonna be another two months before we get that back in. Once we have that speed oven in hand, it will be just a quick installation to pop that in. So below that, we'd have the standard conventional oven and then some taller drawer storage for things like pots and pans. So we have this nice big deep drawer with a smaller drawer on top for things like lids and smaller items. Now, we wanted to make sure we had ample space in here for sheet goods. So right above the ovens, we have these adjustable vertical dividers and this is able to store things like cookie sheets, serving trays, and the extra racks for the oven. And then we didn't need to go all the way to the top of the cabinet with these vertical dividers. Um, that is just a little bit too much space for you know, your average sheet good. So we made it just a fixed divider here so you do have additional storage for some miscellaneous items up on the top, things that aren't gonna be used very often. But because this is such a small kitchen, we did want to maximize the space here. So everything is packed full of features. For instance, right here under the cooktop, we have four drawers. Bottom one is a little bit lower, so that way we can store some larger items, and then things like canned goods and smaller items can fit in the three top drawers. We also wanna make sure we had ample storage for things like other pots and pans, other cookware, mixing bowls, things like that. So we wanna maximize the storage in the corner cabinets, so here on this side, we used a magic corner. This unit's great. It has these slide out shelves that tuck back in on the inside of that corner cabinet. So you're able to make use of this entire cabinet and the cooktop is shallow enough that we are able to fit both in without any issues at all. So as we continue around with the lower cabinets here, we have the spice pull out, nice narrow drawer, put things like oils, vinegars, tin foils, wraps, spices, all of that can go here. And we also have a second one on the other side of the kitchen for additional items. Then we have, you know, your built-in panel dishwasher and just some storage under the sink. We do have a recycling bin for them. You're using some of their additional items. And we will ultimately put a pull-out trash bin in here. Now that we have the interior space all figured out and laid out, we can fit the trash unit in here. Coming around to the other corner, just for drawers, things like silverware and utensils, what have you. And in this corner cabinet, now we have a Lamont. The client wanted to try out both units, switch them up a little bit since they do have some slightly different functionality. So fit the Lamont's unit here in this corner, again, to really capture a lot of that dead space in the back there. And lastly, on these base cabinets, that final spice rack. For these kind of spice racks, we make everything in house. This was built in our shop to this exact cabinet size. We didn't have to rely on purchasing any kind of pieces or parts to fit within that space. And then the upper cabinets are all pretty standard. You know, most of them just have shelves, but these corner cabinets actually have, at the homeowner's request, a Lazy Susan so that they're able to access a lot of the space in here so they can have a little bit easier time accessing some of the stuff that's in the back of these cabinets with some additional storage up top, again, for items that are going to be used a little less frequently. All of the upper cabinets just have some adjustable shelving, but one of the cool features about this is you can see that there's no hardware on these doors and there's no kind of integrated pole on the door either. That's because we put the integrated pole into our under cabinet skin that also holds the light rail. So here we have just a slight bevel. So when the door is closed, you just simply reach behind it and pull that door open. So then above the refrigerator, we just have some adjustable shelves there. But a really cool feature of this kitchen is the homeowners wanted a utility type space, things to store a stepladder so that they can reach these higher shelves 
uh, brooms, mops, things of that nature. So we're able to incorporate a pegboard mm -hmm. pullout tucked away on the side of the fridge so that they can have some of these more utilitarian items at hand, but still tucked away in a manner that isn't so obvious and it still just kind of looks like a filler. You wouldn't even actually know that that's a door. So as we walk through this kitchen, you might also notice that all of the veneer from every one of these door panels all the way around the kitchen, it all matches. So we actually hand stitched all these veneers in our shop all cut from the same lengths from the same sequence so that everything does match throughout this kitchen and one of the other cool features here is this countertop so we went with a thinner two centimeter thick countertop opposed to the standard three centimeter this gives it a nice clean modern look and makes it feel a little bit lighter so the doors here have this profile that we're calling a micro shaker so traditionally a shaker door would have a much wider rail and style. Here we have a very small rail and style with a smaller projection, hence the micro shaker name. This is a really modern take on the shaker style. It's something that we really like in our shop and we're seeing as a trend lately. And one last feature I want to point out in this kitchen are all of these outlets. So we made all of the outlets flush with the stone by using what's called a true fig outlet. These are actually mounted to the backside of the stone before the stone is installed and we're able to adjust those plates so that they are completely flush with the stone backsplash. So there you have it, this is that final kitchen. If you guys remember from the previous videos, we gutted this entire space. We took down the ceiling, replaced all new lights, all the electrical, the ceiling, replastered everything, and even replaced the track on the pocket doors. So that's gonna wrap up this episode and this kitchen. Go back and take a look at some of the older videos to see where this space had come from. This kitchen hadn't been updated since 1989, so it was definitely time for an upgrade. So hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment below. Let us know some questions. We'll try to get those lives back up and running. Tell a friend about this and make sure that you and your friend are both hitting that subscribe button and we'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching.